Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. Welcome to the chapter 3, First Order Differential Equations. Let's have a look at the first subtopic, 3.1, separable variables. Okay, the first learning objective here is to distinguish between the general and the particular solutions. Let's have a brief look at what is general solution and what is particular solutions. So there are two types of solutions. First is we call it general solution. Why do we call it general? It is just because we do not know what's the value of A. Okay, when we do not know what's the value of A, we just call it general solution. But when we already know to how to find the value of A, and then we call it particular solutions. And so it's very easy, okay? Now, we are going to solve the separable differential equation. Let's have a look at the first example here. dy dx is equals to 2x over y. Okay, and the first step, it should be to gather the y, the dy and the y in one team. We will use this by using cross multiply, okay? So we will get y times dy over there by using cross multiply. And another, and another one is 2x dx is another team, okay? By also using cross multiply. So very, so very easy. The first step is actually applying the cross multiply. If you manage to cross multiply, it means this equation is a separable variable okay so we have here y dy equal to 2x dx after we separate them by using the cross multiply we will now integrate both sides so we are going to integrate both sides we will get y squared over 2 equals with 2x squared over 2. But on the right-hand side here, we must put plus c. Just put the plus c on the right-hand side, okay? And then as a conclusion, the answer is y squared over 2 equal with x squared plus c only. Okay, and so we call this as the general solution, okay, because we do not know what's the value of C. So if you do not know what's the value of C, we call this the general solutions. Okay, very easy. And of course, you can leave your answer like that. Okay, you can leave your answer like this, y squared, any y. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be y equal. It can be just live like this. All right? Let's go to the second example. dy dx is equal to, to cos x minus sine x over sine x plus cos x. So how do we going to separate this? Still, by using cross multiply. So if we look at here, everything here is x. Therefore, this is called as one thing. Whole, the whole here is specifically for dx sahaja. And so when we cross multiply it, dx will be here and remain there. Nothing much changes. Okay. So it will be give you cos, let me write it down, cos x minus sine x over sine x plus cos x and then don't forget to put your dx because you are trying to cross multiply that is what i got i bring the dx above okay how about dy then dy remain on the left hand side but when you cross multi multiply it is actually the value of one there is nothing there but we can put the value of one over there so you don't panic you put the value of one there Okay, and then next step, 
Very easy. We just integrate both sides. When we integrate 1 dy, we will get y. Well, on the right-hand side here, you have to recall back your, your, uh, your techniques of integration. What is this? Which technique is more suitable? So, so if I look at this, I know that this is actually substitution method. How do I know it so quickly? It is just because differentiate sign will get cos. Differentiate cos will get negative sign. Therefore, it is substitution. And so I will have to let u equals to sine x plus cos x. And then I integrate du. I mean, I integrate u. I mean, differentiate u with respect to x. And then I'll get cos x minus sine x. Okay? And then I make dx as a subject. I will get 1 over 1 over this thing. dx, du, sorry. And so, this is my, my let let. I do not know how should I call this, but I let it first so that I can now apply my substitution successfully. So I bring it down here a bit, integrate cos blah 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 copy paste i put down the u and then i times it with my dx my dx is actually over here and so i would like to copy them and put it here okay and so what did i get I will now see that both of these are the same thing, isn't it? When they are the same thing, we can cut it down. So we are going to cut it. After we cut it, we will realize that we got integrate 1 over u du. See, this is actually du, all right? It has been changed from here. I think you are expert of this substitution method already, just to recall a bit. And so the answer will be y equals to ln u plus c. Don't forget to put plus c and don't forget to change back your u into becoming the, the x back. Get back your x, get back your sine x plus cos x. Put it here. And then don't forget to put plus C, settle. This is how easy we use uh, separable. I mean, this is how easy we solve the separable variable. And remember, we call this general solution because we do not know what's the value of C. Let's move forward to the next example. We have dy dx equals to exponent x plus y. So how on earth do we separate the x and the y? Okay, don't be panic. All you have to do is just use your rules of indices, which I bet you are good in it already. So you are going to separate the e, x, and times with e, y, so that, so that you get what? So that you will get this back. All right, they are the same thing. This is just the rule of indices. If you want me to recall it, I can write it down for you. Am plus n is actually equal to am times an. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to separate, no, not separate. I'm going to use the rule of indices first by times exponent x with exponent y and then I can separate them successfully. So I se separate them by using cross multiply. I will get dy 
1 over exponent y equal with exponent x dx. That is how easy you separate them. And then next step is just integrate both sides. Again, the same thing. And then we are going to use our skill of integration. So how do we do this? Exponent negative y, we will get exponent negative y over negative equal with exponent x plus c. And so we bring the negative power down, we will get negative 1 over exponent y equals to exponent x plus c. That's it. That is our answer. You can remain it like that. You don't need to change it. You can remain the y, any y, or on the left-hand side there. Leave it there. Nothing wrong for this chapter. Okay? Untuk chapter ini sajalah. Let's go to the next example. Question 4. We have this y <coughs> times with x squared minus 1 dy dx equals to 1. So what I did here is I separate them. This one is a bit complex, but not too hard. So just, just focus at the y group. So this is team y. Okay, so I got that. Y dy. I break, I leave it there because y should be on the left hand side, right? And then I bring this x squared minus 1 and the dx to the right hand side here. So that I will get this 1 over x squared minus 1 and then dx above. So I just cross multiply. Cross multiply sahaja. Nothing much. Okay. And then I integrate both sides. And then I realize that this is, this is in need of partial fraction. And so I have prepared the answers. This is my solutions. I got the value of A and B. And then I insert it back into my partial fraction there. And this is my answer of the partial fraction. And now I'm ready to integrate both sides. When I integrate both sides, what do I get? I will get y squared over 2 equal with, what is this? I think I should bring this integral. I should bring the constant out first. And then I'll get inside here is 1 over x minus 1 dx. And then minus with 1 over 2 again. But now this is integrate 1 over x plus 1 dx. Okay, so this one is much clearer for us to see. And so I write down again the y squared over 2 equal with 1 over 2. Now I understand that this is ln x minus 1. And then I put minus and then I put 1 over 2. Integrate 1 over x plus 1 is actually ln x plus 1. And then I put plus c. Simple. And then I... What should I do then? Should I leave it like this or should I apply the law of logarithm? What do you think? So I think I want to do it a bit different. I don't want to leave my answers like that because I know the law of logarithm. So I, what I want to do here is I gather, I mean, I factorize my 1 over 2 first, factorize it, bring it in front. And then I got inside here is the ln x minus 1. And put minus and then put ln x plus 1 and then I close the bracket. And then, and then put plus c, don't forget. And then my final answer here, I will be stop. I will be stopping here because I want to apply this thing. This is actually log A minus log B. And it will eventually give me log A over B. So this is law of logarithms that I want to apply. 
which I know all of my students understand what is law of logarithm. Okay, and then let me delete this. And then here is the magic. You will only have one lawn and one modulus. But this x minus 1 will be divided with x plus 1. And it will be much shorter. And then, then I put the plus c over there. Isn't it easier? Yes, it is easier. Uh, I would say it is easy. <laughs> okay. I'll stop here.